Beautiful. Who gives this woman to this man? Amen. We want to thank God for this joyous and blessed occasion. As today we witness and take part in the holy matrimony of Daniel Hill and Kaylee Kemp. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for such a time, a time that you have allowed, a time for your covenant to take place, God, not just a marriage, but a covenant. God, we can do nothing without you, and we just pray that you will impart your spirit into this marriage and cover these two, God, even your witnesses as you have called here today, God. Let us all take a part and encourage this couple that has came up today. Love them and respect this covenant that you yourself have created and initiated. Father, we give you thanks for all things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Today we'll be honoring God and Daniel, Kaylee, by following what he did. Today we'll be honoring God and Daniel and Kaylee by following what he created and initiated. What we call marriage, and he refers to as a covenant. A promise to reside and thrive together as husband and wife. To be fruitful and multiply with him leading and covering this holy union. From the beginning of creation of man and woman, he ordained this covenant. It is now up to us to accept and live out his design. Since this was his creation and not man's, he instructed and reminds us in Mark 10 and 6 that at the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. Therefore, what God is joined together, let no one separate. Therefore, we should all, all of us, as participants and witnesses, take note, as in Hebrews 13 and 4, that God honors marriage. And if we want to honor God, not just these two, but all of us, marriage is to be honored by all, because it's God's creation. <coughs> we will also honor this marriage by defending His word of letting no man or woman separate the two, and as I mentioned, but encouraging and demonstrating love and respect for one another and for this great covenant. First Corinthians 13 tells us that love is patient and kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. It is clear by this showing today that Daniel and Kaylee have decided to make their love one and join in covenant with one another and with God. And now we declare it before us all. Are you ready to declare your love for each other? Yes. So Daniel, can you repeat after me first? I, Daniel, I, Daniel, take you, Kaylee, to be my wife, take you, Kaylee, to be my wife, and to live together in marriage, and to live together in marriage. I promise to love you, Comfort you, honor and protect you, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and health, 
and forsaking all others and being faithful to you. And forsaking all others and being faithful to you. So long as we both shall live, so help me God. For as long as we both shall live, so help me God. Okay. I, Kaylee, take you, Daniel, to be my husband. We live together in marriage. We live together in marriage. I promise to love you. I promise to you. Comfort you. Comfort you. Honor and protect you. Honor and protect you. For better or worse. For better or worse. For richer or poor. For sickness and health. And forsaking all others, being faithful to you. And forsaking all others, being faithful to you. So long as we both shall live. So God help. So help me God. So it's only people trying to help me God. We now as a symbol of the promise of marriage. By placing these rings on each other's fingers, we're promising to not just not just to love each other. I give you this ring.
social hour. So family forms, many individual pictures, and many guests for uh, please.